The rapport between the teacher and the student is amazing. She played more than the teacher role for me from, from day one. She's more than just their teacher, she's their mom. Ms. Rispilli is like my second mom. She's their confidant. She really makes a difference in all of our lives because she's always there. She's their guidance counselor. She's helped me with college decisions. She covers all of those areas. I've helped with their college applications. I've paid for ACTs, SATs. She has definitely been a huge motivator and a huge inspiration for why I continue to do what I do. Being able to use music in a way to teach us life lessons has been a thing that she's been able to do since day one and since I've met her. So. It made me change my major to music and now I really want to be a professional musician and be a teacher. Even though it's really challenging, the fact that she just believes in us, every single one of us, just really pushes us to do our absolute best and get to that level. I mean, she loves those kids. Linda, from the beginning, started serving as a teacher evaluator. She also served as a mentor. I have a steel band, Pan Jam Drum, that represents students from all over Berkeley County. And those students have played at Piccolo Spoleto. They are ambassadors of the steel instruments at elementary schools. We play at Boeing for big events. We play for any kind of large civic event. We had these experiences that professional musicians fight for every day. Her allowing us to play weddings was just really integral in like seeing how music affected people's lives. It was because of her, she made these connections so that we could get these experiences and I can't even imagine how many hours she pulled like to make these things happen. By performing out in the community, um, she is an ambassador for music education programs in the schools. She's really bringing out the orchestra program in Cane Bay because we just went to SEMEA and um, ASTA in, for nationals in Tampa, Florida. She made an impact not only in her school but in all the schools across the district. The number of students that we have that graduate from Cane Bay High School that go on to major in music is pretty astounding. I'm currently working on my doctorate right now and one of the things that I'm doing is playing off of this desire to have the orchestra be a family. Right now we're actually working on a piece that was written for strings and we're playing it on the drums which I think is really cool. The idea of steel drums performance, she's sort of turning it into something that is uh, a whole other genre, like she's taking it to a classical level. One from Tom Miller and one from Alan Leitner that we premiered at Piccolo Spoleto, and that was a special joy. Both times the um, composer came down and worked with my group for a week. That was a great opportunity for my kids to work with those artists. She advocates for music education, she advocates for music appreciation, and she advocates for the craft of music in and of itself. Linda is one of those teachers who takes her students outside of the classroom to perform. And every time she does that, she reaches a different community that then can advocate for the arts in schools. Because she pushed for it, she fought for it, and she would not be silenced. Always very outspoken about music in the schools especially. And she's still fighting battles today. She is still pushing the advocacy that music is still important to everyone, and she inspires me. Berkeley County was able to keep funding for arts education when a lot of districts were losing their funding. She put her foot down and she made sure people knew why music was needed. It is, it is everything. If I didn't have a school cello, then I wouldn't have been able to perform in the orchestra and become a music major. So I feel like her advocating for the funding of music, that really just like can change a student's life.